All right, so let's take a quick look at Vuzik Station sequencing aspects and uh, wave sequencing I'm talking about. I'm going to load the initial wave sequencer patch, which has just, uh, just two sounds playing one after the other. So just to see how it really works, then we're going to start with the initial sample player, which has just one sound. And uh, there are two things I can do. I can add and convert to wave sequencer. I can just replace with wave sequencer. Both are going to uh, do the same thing. So now I have a wave sequencer. You can see here that I have wave and sec from sequence on the right, if I click it, it's going to open the wave sequencer. Let's go back to the waveform here. So it's just a boring sign waveform. So let's open the sound sets. And I'm going to load something more meaningful. Mm, let's see. Uh, this, I don't like this one. And you can hear that it's already repeating because I have just one step and repeating it at the time of one by two. So, okay, I have this sound, but I want to load another sound. There are two ways to do that. I can uh, try the next sound to new layer here next to new layer and it's going to load the the delta 2 pw to a new layer so now i have two layers here layer one delta square and layer two delta two and i can use the wave selector to select from one waveform to another But since I have the, the wave sequencer, the wave sequencer is going to select that instead. So this doesn't, doesn't work anymore. Um, okay, I have my two waveforms. So I'm going to go to the wave sequencer here, and I'm going to click here and select add step to end. So now I have two steps. First step sound one, and the second step sound two. Very, very simple. So sound one, sound two, both have the same volume and everything. I'm just going to make it much slower now. So the both sounds are very similar from what, oh, they are the same ones. They are the square for, this, for both. Let me try this next sound instead. Just pressing a, a charge, uh, a C major, I think. I don't know. Just a short, a short on my keyboard, and it's playing the two steps. So it's very simple. But I want a continuous sound. I change layer one and then layer two. It's not, it's not so bad. I can use that. So now I'm going to use another option. So the volume I'm going to keep the, the same. So I can right click and select what this lane here. You can see that they'll have one, two, three, four lanes. So I want to, to edit the crossfading. But uh, for that, you can see the, the, the X fade here, it's disabled. So for that, I have to go to mode 2, 
Because mode one is just doing an arpeggiator and uh, not really a wave sequencing. But uh, it's a wave sequencing, but in a different way. You can check on the manual and explain a bit more. So mo mode one is kind of like an arpeggiator, while the mode two is a true wave sequencer. So for each uh, voice, we have two sounds. The sound that is playing and the next sound. So now I have select mode 2 and I can select crossfade for this lane here. I'm going to put to the maximum. You, you can already hear that it's crossfaded from one another. Let me put this a bit slower here. to use the shift mouse because these are very delicate uh, change and I having a bit of a hard time with my mouse because my mouse is very sensitive oh, I changed the, the wrong sound so let me change just the sound here I can select off if I want for a step so what I'm doing here, I have two steps. The first step, I'm putting a higher octave, so two notes up. Uh, I can also, I do have an octave here to select, but I just select to 12 notes up. Sorry, I, I said it wrong before. And uh, the first so sound is sound number two from layer number two, because I have two layers here. Each layer has a different sound. So now you can you can hear that I'm crossfading from one sound to, to the other sound. Um, but let's try a third sound. So next to new layer, I'm going to put another step, add step to end, another crossfade. Now I have three different sounds. This FX sounds is not very good. Let me try the Monopoly. Oh, the Monopoly loaded. <laughs> Layer number two. I have to check why it's loaded Layer number two because it should be... Ah, oh, because I'm playing and it's... it's it's changing the layer as I play. I forgot I have, I have to stop playing and wait it before uh, until it stops changing the sound. So let me try it again. Monopoly. Okay. Far Visa. And I'm going to try the Delta Square again. And okay, now I have the three sounds. This is, this is the only thing you have to be careful. Let me check my sounds here. Oh, I'm gonna put it into the last sound. Now it's playing the three sounds one after the other. But the, the fun thing that we can do is use the time to put a bit of a rhythm in here. Uh, so I'm going to put time four. Uh, four. I have to press shift to do that so it doesn't go too fast. I'm going 
to duplicate the steps. And I'm going to add here four again and make it a bit faster, one by two. You can get some ideas of what can be done just by playing around with the sounds. But uh, let's put time to, to a slow time again. And one thing that I remember uh, another wave sequencer hardware keyboard used to do is mess around with the fine tuning of each step. So I'm going to change just a bit and you can hear now it sounds a bit eerie <laughs> so I'm going to go to the amp envelope here on the top I'm going to click and select ADSR mode and uh, going to put a long longer release I'm going to add on FX1, I'm going to add the send and go to the master, send effects and add the delay. Well, first I'm going to add the chorus and I'm going to click again and add the stereo delay. So they are going to be processed in series. So the double chorus first and then the delay. a bit too much fine tuning so let's put a bit less around 16 8 12 this is too much you can hear that already let's try less And I'm going to go to, to the wave, to the sample player again, and select dual oscillator. So it's going to add another note to each note I play. And uh, I'm going to put 12 notes down. With a bit of fine tuning, just a bit. Just a, a fun little project, and uh, let's try something different now. I'm going to delete delete all the layers. I'm going to load the vintage drum kit instead. Remove all my steps. I want to add a step again, so it's sound one. And I'm going to add another step and then duplicate it. Now I have four steps. And you can also right click to do a fine tuning of a knob. Let me recall, let me remove a bit the There is an option here. I'm going to go to the mode one. So 
each note I press is going to play on that. So I'm pressing C, D, so C, D, and uh, sharp. So it's playing the four notes of the drum kit. It's just just something you can you can do with the sequencer too. But for drums, you can also use the drums mode. But these are going to talk in another video. So for this video, just going to have a bit of, of fun with the sequencer here. So I can add another sequence here, sequence two. And I can fix my pitch. So now I can play any note. It's going to play fixed. I'm going to add What's the note again? Six. So it's one by one. But I want my hi hat to be one by eight. Or just four, maybe. Now I can go back to sequence number one. And uh, I. Actually, I don't need all these four guys here because I just I just want something very simple just to showcase what I'm doing. So we're going to change the time here. Where is the time? Time. Let's see which mode I'm using. Mode. Let me try mode two. Oh, mode two doesn't have the other sequences. I don't know what's not playing the first step. Um, there must be a reason for that that I don't remember. So I have two two sequences. One running with time 4, my time is 4 here, and the other sequence is running with the regular time, and uh, I'm using the hi-hat here. It's just something to play around with. And if I remove my fixed... I can play around with the, the notes a bit. So I don't know, if you have any other questions about wave sequencing, just let me know. Uh, I have done other videos explaining the difference between mode one and mode two. But uh, basically mode one is just like an arpeggiator and mode two allows you to crossfade between notes and uh, also to retrig notes. So it's, it's a bit different. Uh, and also, mode 2, when you release the notes, they continue with the envelope. As mode 1 is going to stop, and the envelope is going to, to stop the, all the notes. So it's a different way of, of doing things. So depending on what you're looking for, usually mode 2 is, is the way to go. Uh, and there's a lot of wave sequence examples in the presets itself, so you can just take a look at that. And I'm going to try to think more about what else I could do about the wave sequence review. Well, just let me know at the, if, uh, on Facebook or the forum, and I'll try to make a better video. So, thanks for watching!